Peter Brogel the Elder's The Peasant Wedding, created in 1567, stands as a remarkable testament to the artist's ability to capture the intricate details of daily life in 16th century Flanders. Brogel, a renowned Flemish Renaissance painter, was celebrated for his keen observation and depictions of peasant life, and peasant wedding exemplifies his mastery in this genre. The painting presents a lively and bustling scene, portraying a rural wedding celebration. The background of the artwork is deeply rooted in the cultural and social context of the time. Flanders in the 16th century was marked by a predominantly agrarian society, and Brogel sought to illuminate the essence of peasant life, with its traditions, customs, and communal spirit. The peasant wedding is teeming with characters engaged in various activities, providing a rich tableau of the festivities. The artist pays careful attention to the nuances of the rural setting, depicting a humble dwelling adorned with simple decorations. The architectural details, such as the thatched roof and wooden beams, speak to the modesty of the peasant's abode. The scene unfolds in a cramped, chaotic space, emphasizing the intimacy and close-knit nature of the community. For a wedding, the bride and groom are the protagonists. In this painting, a green curtain on the wall reveals the bride, the main character of the wedding feast. The bride sits contentedly under a paper flower crown, adorned with a precious crown on her head. Even sitting in the back, people can easily recognize her special status. The bride blissfully closes her eyes, hands folded together, seemingly detached from the bustling environment, indulging in reflections and anticipation of marriage. Her rosy cheeks may not be conventionally beautiful, but a smile of happiness graces her lips. The overall appearance of the wedding feast in the painting doesn't seem grand or lively, more like an ordinary gathering of peasants. However, the actions and expressions of each character are vividly portrayed, providing viewers with a lifelike, immersive experience. For example, the musician in the scene looks simple and honest, staring at the food with a bewildered, hungry expression. On the left side of the painting, a child engrossed in eating under a red hat appears adorable and innocent, bringing a smile to the viewer's face as if these were real people, making the scene more lively. However, what should have been a well-dressed, abundant, and lively wedding takes place hastily in a setting with simple clothes, modest food, and rudimentary decorations. The expressions of the characters also carry a subtle melancholy or confusion, lacking the festive atmosphere. These elements seem to showcase the hardships and challenges of peasant life, expressing the painter's profound sympathy and concern for them. To emphasize the artist's thoughts and emotions, there are artistic manipulations in coloring. To match the rustic atmosphere of the countryside, the artist used analogous colors to paint the peasant's clothes, greatly subdued the light and shade, even omitting shadows reducing the visual contrast, and highlighting the simple happiness of the wedding. The humble barn, set against warm hues, presents an atmosphere of joyful feasting. In the creation process, the artist deliberately employs a color strategy to highlight the simplicity of the peasant wedding. Most viewers appreciating the painting are from the upper echelons of society using the medium of painting to enhance the upper class's understanding of the lower social strata. Additionally, the artist's creative period coincided with the turbulent times of warfare in Northern Europe. With war wreaking havoc and causing widespread suffering, even the ordinary happiness of peasant life could be abruptly terminated. This reflects the artist's aversion to war, a yearning for a happy life, and an expectation for peasants to have better days. Throughout the entire work, the delicate brush strokes and simple color palette reveal the artist's yearning for a peaceful and prosperous life for the masses, reflecting the author's deep-seated humanistic sentiments. <laughs>